will be furious after Trump golf course has permanent replacement for white truck CNN will be furious after Trump golf course has permanent replacement for white truck One of CNN's most foolish stories in a year full of them is finally being put to rest. A break in the hedges around the golf course at President Donald Trump's Trump International Golf Club in Palm Beach, Florida has been filled with trees planted to block a view of the course from a public road, according to the Washington Examiner. Will that be enough to shut up Don Lemon and company? Probably not. It might even just make them even more furious, but that's true of about anything with liberals in the Trump era. Alert viewers of CNN, or readers of conservative websites, that mock the Clinton News Network, already know about the break in the hedge. CNN cameras used the opening to get footage of the president playing golf on his Christmas break until a white panel truck was strategically parked in the spot to block the view. CNN reporter Dan Merica even griped about the van during an on-air interview with the network's Don Lemon. Now it may seem trivial, but it is important to give video as the president does these things on a daily basis, Merica said in that interview and goes to something that is larger, the president and the White House have tried to obscure the fact that President Trump golfs on a regular basis. Well, America was right about one thing, to Americans concerned about how the country can pull itself out of a disastrous hole dug by eight years of the most progressive presidency in U.S. history, the question of the panel truck did seem trivial indeed. But that didn't stop CNN from expending considerable time on the mystery of where the truck came from. According to the Daily Caller, CNN mentioned the truck a total of 33 times between Wednesday and Friday of last week. It turns out the truck belonged to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office, though the Sheriff's Office had told CNN it did not order a box truck to block any views of the president. Okay, so maybe the truck was parked there without orders. Or maybe it was just a happy coincidence that a truck from the sheriff's office just happened to be parked in a spot that blocked CNN cameras from recording a presidential day on the links. Or maybe the sheriff's office was playing word games with an annoying CNN reporter. Or maybe nobody with any sense cares a whit about the whole subject. That would exclude, of course, Dan Merica, Don Lemon, CNN and various liberal websites which saw something deeper afoot, as always. Here's the thing. Golf courses are designed to be places where the cares of the world are held at bay, and liberals certainly never complained when it was Barack Obama who was spending his time at the tees. Conservatives did, including the conservative Tribune, but the man was doing so much real damage to real government and cultural institutions, everything was fair game. Liberals would love to make the same argument about Trump, but it would not only be wrong, it would be intellectually dishonest. For liberals, Obama's avowed goal was a transformational presidency. Trump supporters just want sanity restored. Now, Trump International is rectifying the matter of the Great Hedge breach of 2017 by planting trees in that spot to keep golf rounds private. CNN has spent a full year attacking the Trump presidency on spurious grounds and embarrassing itself doing it on more than one occasion. Now, it can go back to hunting up more foolish stories to attract its dwindling liberal viewership. It might make CNN furious again, but this one, at least, has been laid to rest.